Hi, Bright Riders. Cruz here. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, we are going to be looking at how ChatGPT responded to a similar prompt, which I practiced on uh, Tuesday on a Tuesday, depending on when you're watching this video, where I looked at a possible um, AccuPlacer right placer prompt. And what I'm providing here is the prompt that I gave ChatGPT and ChatGPT's response. More importantly, what we're looking at is the content provided, how detailed the examples are, because this is how these are the items you want to include in your essay writing. Without further ado, right writers, let us begin. So the prompt I posted in chat GPT was exactly as follows. As President of the United States, please construct a three-paragraph speech where you explain the importance of providing free tuition for the first two years of college. And here is the response from ChatGPT. So I love how the prompt responded with, ladies and gentlemen, and then we go from here. Tonight, I stand before you as the President of the United States to shed light on a crucial topic that affects the future of our nation, the provision of free tuition for the first two years of college. Education is the cornerstone of progress, a key to unlocking opportunities and a catalyst for economic growth. By ensuring access to higher education for all, we can empower our citizens, bolster our workforce, and create a more equitable society. Notice the word choice, right, writers, in paragraph one. Notice the three points that are mentioned, and let's see how they're brought up within the context of this speech. First and foremost, providing free tuition for the first two years of college would remove financial barriers that hinder the dreams and aspirations of countless young Americans. By easing the burden of tuition fees, we level the playing field, enabling individuals from all socioeconomic backgrounds to pursue their educational goals. This inclusive approach ensures that talent, not financial resources, becomes the determining factor for success. When we invest in the education of our youth, we invest in the future of our nation. Notice how persuasive this is and also the word choice, right, writers, provided by ChatGPT. And that is really what separates students, um, you know, college students or students who have higher educations from those who do not. That word choice, that expanded vocabulary. Next paragraph, right, writers. Moreover, such a move would have far-reaching economic benefits. By equipping our workforce with the necessary skills and knowledge, we strengthen our economy's competitive edge in a global marketplace. Free tuition for the first two years of college incentivizes individuals to pursue higher education, enhancing their employability and enabling them to contribute meaningfully to our society. Additionally, this initiative can alleviate the burden of student loan debt, allowing graduates to more readily invest in homes, businesses, and other ventures that drive economic growth. What I really love about this paragraph is the use of conjunctive adverbs. Transition words such as moreover, and then transition words such as additionally. And our ending paragraph here, right, writers. In conclusion, the provision of free tuition for the first two years of college is not only a matter of fairness, but also a strategic investment in our nation's future. It paves the way for a more inclusive society where everyone has an equal shot at achieving their educational aspirations. Beyond that, it fuels economic prosperity by bolstering our workforce and reducing the burden of student debt. As your president, I urge you to join me in supporting this important initiative that will shape the destiny of our great nation. Thank you and may God bless America. Okay, so as you can see, right, writers, again, we have this persuasiveness, this uh, word choice, you know, really focusing on the importance of educating our youth for the sake of the future of our country. And we definitely, you know, I saw some parallels between what ChatGPT 
and what I was able to create in um, 30 minutes. But I wanted to go ahead and set it up as a speech so you can really hear that persuasiveness and, and the way in which you can approach these, you know, your president, what do you do? You know, think creatively in how you want to write the essay. So if you were president, what would be something you would prioritize? Um, one issue or concern that you would address? Would love to hear your comments um, on what that might be. Not requiring an essay, but would love to hear your comments. So with that said, Bright Riders, thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. And I hope this video was helpful useful and that it ensures your success. Take care, Right Riders. Love you guys. Bye-bye.